everybody, it's Christina of Crafty Paws. I'm here to share a design team project for top flight stamps with you guys. As you probably know, I participated in the top flight stamps first birthday blog hop. And if you haven't checked that out yet, please go check out my prior video and my blog for three giveaway prizes. Uh, but anyway, I was falling in love with those Quetzalcraft jungle animals, so I decided to make just one more card, and this is the flying hippo that I used. First, for the background, I used a Quetzalcraft clouds background stamp. Now, these stamps are red rubber stamps that are not foam mounted, and I didn't bother to mount this at all because I figured I would just lay it on my table, flip it up, and ink it, and put the paper over top of it so that I could stamp that way. And these clouds are kind of loose, so I don't need it to be exact. Uh, and so I have this vertical oriented stamp and I'm making a horizontal kind of card there, as you can see. I'm inking the edges as well, but basically to do the whole card background in those clouds, I just, you know, inked parts of it at a time. Now this next background stamp is from Crafty Individuals and it's actually the Townhouse Rose stamp, but this is currently discontinued. So if you want a similar looking stamp, there's a Jingle Bells Rooftops stamp that has exactly this rooftop that section that I used. And so if you just ink up the section of it that you want, and what I'm doing here is I'm laying out a scrap piece of paper so that the ink doesn't accidentally get all over the place on my hands and stuff. And I'm just doing the same thing, kind of pressing my card front onto it so you get that beautiful rooftop image. Now for the flying hippo. I decided I was gonna make this flying hippo even whimsical in its coloring. So I am coloring it up with a BV family of colors. That's the blue violet. So rather than doing like a standard gray, whether warm or neutral, I decided I was gonna have kind of a purpley, uh, you know, blue gray kind of color to this hippo. And I'm just using a kind of mid-tone color to lay in where I think the shadows would be, kind of under the lip, under the chin, or the lower part of the hippo altogether, um, around the eyes, by the muzzle, under the nostrils, behind the legs. Now I'm taking a lighter color. This is a BV01, which is like a violet, and it has more of a purpley tone to it rather than you know having that darker gray undertone. So I'm blending that in a little bit further into the animal, uh, but I'm still leaving areas white because I want to have a highlighted area. And I'm not being very fussy about the blending. I'm just trying to get some color laid down. Now I wanted to establish my darkest shadows. And this image is really easy to color in that sense because there are those little hash lines in the stamp image itself. So it gives you those visual cues where the shadows would be. So you just kind of follow along those little hash mark areas, extending a little bit further where you want to. I love that little swirly belly button. It is so stinking cute. <laughs> uh, but that's where I establish all the darkest shadows with that BV25. Now I'm going black in and blending with a BV23 to kind of connect the darkest shadowed areas with the lightest areas. And I'm blending together uh, so that it doesn't have kind of harsh edges. Now I decided uh, I didn't want to leave the stark white, obviously, so I'm thinking about what other color I can bring in to keep the highlighted look, but color that in so it's not white. And I decide a V20 would be really pretty. It's a wisteria, that's the name of it, and I think it worked beautifully with the BV colors. And I'm just blending in the highlighted areas with that lightest wisteria color. And I think the hippo is coming out looking really uh, quirky, funny, and cute. I'm going back in and blending back over with the BV01, just blending again to connect that lightest wisteria color to the kind of mid-tone BV color. And for the teeth, I wanted to make sure those were a cool, cool, really pale gray, so I added the C0 for the teeth. And little eyeballs, I wanted to give him little blue eyes to coordinate with the blue wings that I'm coloring in. I used a couple of different blues just to get some you know, shadowed areas. And then I'm using Wink of Stella to give his wings a magical shimmer. Even though you can barely see them, I thought I would take the time to also color up the little hippo's toenails to coordinate with his eyes and his wings. 
I get the Uniball Signo White Gel Pen to get started on my finger, and then I added those little highlight dots. This is the Quote Medley stamp set, and it has the quote that I use for this card, which reads, it's better to take a risk than miss a moment of magic. And here, after I had heat embossed the sentiment and fussy cut it out, inking the edges with a Memento Tuxedo black marker. I popped each of the segments of the sentiment, as well as the hippo and his wings, up on foam dots. So the card has a little bit of dimension, and the hippo really pops. And that's my finished card. I hope you've enjoyed this process video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a wonderful crafty day.